Hello, it's Monday the 7th of October. Welcome to a new week. I'm all ready for work. I hope you are too and that you had a lovely weekend. So I'm using my Rider Waite Smith cards today. So let's see what cards come out for us. Um, don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel. And also, why not share it to anyone that you think it might help and guide along the way. Right, who's going to come out for us? Let's see. One and two okay so we've got the king of swords today and we've also got the tower i almost thought should i put that up straight away you know there's i do feel this rider weight smith pack that we have um you know it doesn't put any punches does it so if you were sort of uh thinking about just going back to bed and putting the duvet over you this card would certainly <laughs> certainly make your mind up there wouldn't it but you know what this is I feel like the King of Swords is sitting next to this chaos and not getting involved in it. So maybe there's a message there for us today. Um, yeah, there's just <laughs> somebody I know has a fantastic saying, not my circus, not my monkeys. Is it your argument? Do you need to get involved? Do you need to take that on? Mm, possibly not. It's interesting, actually, when you sit and analyse how your emotions go throughout the day, how many times your emotions change because of what somebody else has told you, because how somebody else is behaving. I'm thinking about work now. I'm thinking about, you know, going to work and knowing you've got that colleague that just drives you mad. Obviously, I haven't got any colleagues anymore. I'm just working from home in my treatment room. But um, yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? They might overshare or not talk at all, or, uh, you know, grumble under their breath. Um, I had somebody that used to do that. <laughs> um, I better not say any more. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there is, isn't there? There's the extra overexcited person that, that that's just like really, yeah, struggling to control their own emotions. Or there's so many things. You go into a work environment and you have to deal with everybody else's stuff, especially on a Monday morning. And I wonder if there's some of you thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to listen to everything that person's done all weekend and it's going to be like an hour and I just want to eat my breakfast. You know, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why I'm thinking of work, but I just do feel like this is a career thing that, you know, there's chaos all around you. Do you need to be part of it? There's a question there, though, isn't there, about um, feeling like you're not in the right space or not surrounded by the right people. And I do feel that this King of Swords is coming in to go, I feel like there's a maturity with this King of Swords. And it's funny because we talked about this yesterday when I was working on the runes, about the idea of outgrowing people or not being in the same space as people. I do feel the King of Swords is coming in to give an element of maturity to your own mind and thoughts. And I feel that maybe as you've worked through the Eclipse portal that we've just passed, you're starting to work things out. You're starting to work people out. You're starting to work out where you fit and where you don't fit, where you want to be, where you don't want to be. And I, I like the kind of the fact that the King of Swords is a little bit, he's standing back and he's just watching. And I feel that that's a really good message today to actually just observe what's going on, almost as if it's the first time you've seen it, how people interact with you, how people interact with each other. And I feel like you're going to get a deeper understanding of what's going on around you. And obviously this tower is coming in. Now, generally the tower can represent the idea that there is a sudden and dramatic change but I feel that that sudden and dramatic change is going to be in your mind. And I feel it's going to be a kind of wake up call. And it could be that you suddenly realise, I don't want to be here. I want to be wherever, you know, or you, or you suddenly think, actually, I could do that job better than that person. I might go for it or I'm going to retrain and go somewhere else. So, you know, on a, again, I'm talking about careers because it's Monday morning and I feel like that's the theme. But it could be in your relationships. It could also be just in your, you know, family dynamic. If you haven't got a job, then it might be what's going on in your home that you can just sit back and be a part of, you know, um, and not be a part of for a change. Um, it's funny how we just seem to 
almost get in that kind of rat race of doing the same things every day. And this is saying, maybe we don't do that anymore. Maybe we change everything and see how that turns out. Unfortunately, there's no spoilers as to what happens next, but I do feel that there is gonna be a real awakening and aha moment in your mind today. And if you look at the King of Swords' um, throne, you can just make out, just by his head, there's two butterflies. And, you know, if you've ever looked at the Queen of Swords, she's got a crown of butterflies. It's that idea of transforming our mind. So, yeah, have a look when you're sitting on the tube or the train next to someone or whatever it is. Something is going to just go click. OK, yeah, I get this now. I get how I'm a part of this and I don't necessarily want to be. So I'm going to change it. So. Very interesting Monday for us all. Let's see how that works out. I'll be back again tomorrow with another reading for you. So have a wonderful day and um, see you tomorrow. Bye for now.